Hello and welcome back to Fiction Food Friday. I'm Hermione Granger and you are just kidding, it's, it's Nikki. Today we are in potions class learning how to make Amortensia, the love potion. <clears throat> Amortensia showed up a lot in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, especially when Professor Slughorn revealed it to his potions class. It is the most powerful love potion in the world and it reveals the scents that people find most attractive. When Hermione was in front of it, she smelled freshly mown grass and new parchment and spearmint toothpaste. And if it were in front of me, I would smell sautéed onions, the start of springtime, and tennis balls. There was also a version of Amortentia in Weasley's Wizard Weasel. Hello, ladies. Love potions, eh? Yeah, they really do work. And that's the look we're going for today, because it's for Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day is all about forcing people to love you without their knowledge. So here's what you'll need. Half a cup of sugar, half a cup of water, one cup of clear liquor, adults only now, half a teaspoon of pink luster dust, some clear heart-shaped containers, some little pink tassels, and if you really want to bring the magic, some dry ice pellets. First, we're gonna make some simple syrup, and they use this a lot in mixed drinks, but all it is is sugar and water. So in a saucepan over medium-low heat, we're going to mix our sugar and water and stir it until all of the sugar is dissolved. Now I set that aside, and while it's cooling, we're going to brew our potion. Now the wizarding world uses things like rose thorns and peppermint and pearl dust for amortensia. Now, we don't have rose thorns, but we do have pearl dust, and you can use peppermint schnapps. You need alcohol to make a nice swirl, and you have to use clear liquids. And I will leave a list of clear cocktails in the description box down below if you need some inspiration. Today, I'm using some raspberry vodka and peach schnapps, all of it adding to be one cup of liquor total. Then once your simple syrup is cool, add it in with your liquor. This sweetens our potion and thickens it up just a little bit. Then we add the magic dust. Be sure to use half a teaspoon of luster dust so that our victims will really lust after us. <laughs> like stupid Ramilda Vane. I'm in love with her. Have you ever actually met her? No. Could you introduce me? Now pour your final mixture into your heart-shaped vials. Make sure you've stirred it really well before you pour it in, and then add in the dry ice for that smoky potion effect. Don't touch the dry ice, and definitely don't eat the dry ice, because you will kill the person you love. And it's like a whole different thing there. And that's it, a real love potion. And if the magic doesn't work, it'll probably still work in other ways. Thanks for watching another Fiction Food Friday. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know of other fiction foods that you guys want to see. Have a happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you guys next time. Now, I've heard whoever you give the potion to falls madly in love with you. I wonder what would happen if... Oh my god. You are, you are so beautiful. Oh, I just love you so much. <laughs>